I decided to look in, into who has the toughest schedule in the Big 12 in men's basketball this year in terms of the conference slate. And I'll do it like from easiest to hardest. And first, I'm going to give a little background on each team of like whether they made the NCAA tournament or not or how many NCAA tournament teams they're going to play and how many row of those are road games. Baylor's an NCAA tournament team. 11 NCAA tournament opponents, five of those on the road. BYU, 11 NCAA tournament teams, but games and five of those on the road. UCF, 10 NCAA tournament teams, five of them on the road. Cincinnati, 11 NCAA tournament games, but five of those on the road. And Houston made the NCAA tournament, of course. 10 NCAA tournament games, five of those on the road. Iowa State, 10 NCAA tournament games, five of those on the road. Kansas, 10 NCAA tournament games, five of those on the road. Kansas State, 10 NCAA tournament games, five of those on the road. Oklahoma, 11 NCAA tournament games, six of those on the road. Yikes. Oklahoma State, of course, Kansas State and Kansas and Iowa State did make the NCAA tournament as well. But now Oklahoma State, 10 NCAA tournament teams, games, five of those on the road. TCU is an NCAA tournament team. They were last year. 10 NCAA tournament games, five of those on the road. Texas was an NCAA tournament team, 10 NCAA tournament games, five of those on the road. But Texas Tech has the most. 12 NCAA tournament games on a schedule, seven of those on the road. Yikes for a new head coach. And West Virginia has 11, it was an NCAA tournament team last year, and they had 11 NCAA tournament games, six of those on the road. So, on a scale of 1 to 14, with 1 being the easiest, who has the easiest schedule? In my opinion, it's Kansas. They're more built to win the, they're the favorite to win the Big 12. I mean, might as well. I mean, and I base this off of, like, all this on, like, NCAA tournament games. How many of those are on the road? And how good do I think they're going to be in the Big 12? Houston's number two for me because of the NCAA tournament games. I do think that we're going to have a little bit of adjustment, but better than UCF, Cincinnati, and BYU, in my opinion. And it's, like I said, and TCU is third for me. Texas is fourth. You could swap them out. But this is based on the research. Kansas State fit. The only reason why I put them lower is because they lost some guys. I know they added some, but that's still besides the point. And Texas lost some lost some guys, but they added some just like TCU has. So, yeah, and Iowa State to me is number six. I do think the only reason why I put them above Oklahoma State, who is number seven, is because I think Iowa State's going to be better than Oklahoma State this year. Obviously, number eight, based it's only based because of the research that the higher at this point at number eight, because of the 10 NCAA tournament games and five of those on the road. After that, they should be it should be lower, but they're not. Baylor to me is number nine. I know they lost four starters from last year, but I will say the defense will take a step forward. But I do think the defense will take a step forward in it and it has to especially when it was in the hundreds last year and I get the offense is going to take a step backwards but they're not going to be a terrible offensive team I mean and I expect the front court to also be better than last year number 10 is Cincinnati for me BYU 11 this is only because of the research that's and like based on the, not just the NCAA tournament games, but how many of those are on the road? As we all know, home court advantage is huge and the toughest conference in America in men's basketball, as we all know. So, and the only reason why West Virginia is number 12 is because of the road games. Road games are tough. I mean, obviously Oklahoma is number 13. And number 14 is the the toughest is Texas Tech. You can't deny that when you look at the schedule. And does this determine who that, that's where they're going to finish in the Big 12? Not really. Because some of those games for those 
bad like those teams that are not as good at, like that, like an Iowa State I don't think they're gonna be like top half of the league. I don't know about top half of the league but you know what I'm saying like top four teams and the new schools are ranked above some of the other ones as well as like Oklahoma State for example I don't know I don't think they're gonna be that great in men's basketball this year so they might be lower in the Big 12 and some of those home games are tough I mean you can't deny it and here's another interesting note and I know I put this in the in the community post but BYU Houston Cincinnati and BYU, Cincinnati, Houston, and UCF. You know those new teams are joining the Big 12. You guys how many games they played on average against quad one opponents last season? 9.8. Now, do that for the 10 teams in the Big 12. What is the average? 21 quad one games last year. That's a big difference. That's That's more than doubled. So, I do expect growing pains for UCF, BYU, and Cincinnati. Tech Tech's going to be a growing pains with the new head coach, and I get they added some players, but you know. I will also say Oklahoma's going to be in that mix, as well as Oklahoma State. So, that to me would automatically switch. And Texas is going to be not as good defensively, I don't think. Their guards are going to be smaller. I mean, I know they added some guys, but they also lose some guys. And Max A. Smith can't defend. You can't deny that part. So, really, I do think Baylor finds a way to be in a top order league, despite having this type of schedule. And it's because of the experience. I mean, they're going to be better on defense. And more balanced offensively, and the front court's going to be better. In Kansas State, I don't think they're going to be as good as last year either. I don't think so. West Virginia, to me, is a team that I could see higher, like ninth at worst, or tenth at worst. To it's just going to be tough with all these teams in the Big Twelve here because we know. Like I said, based on hit like in the past history, the Big Twelve is the best conference in men's basketball. And if you don't include last year, I mean, if you include last year's NCAA tournament, the Big Twelve's won the last two out of three national titles. And if you want to include 2019 as well, Texas Tech made a Final Four. So it's just that tough of the league. And I do think it will be, like, TCU could be lower than number three in the Big 12. I don't, I think they're going to be good, but I don't think they're going to be, like, top three or top four good. But we have to wait and see, and we'll have to see on the preseason polls when they come out. Anyways, if you like this content, like, and subscribe, and see you guys later. Find subscribers around the road to it. Let's go.